Today I'm going to start off with the Urban Decay, Urban Defense uh, Complexion Primer right here. I really like this primer because I do have dry skin in certain areas. But the only thing I wish is that it um, minimize my pores a little bit more. Like right here on my nose and right here on my cheeks. Alright, so while I let that primer sit in for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Enigma. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Alright, Next, I'm going to move into my foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y245. And I'll do about one and a half pumps. Put it on my face. I'm going to use my little opal brush right here. I got from my brush set. And I got these pretty cheap. They were like $20 for a set of them on mybrushset.com but they were having to sell it at the time. I don't know, you know if they still have them or not. So I bought these maybe a year ago or pretty close to a year ago. I'm just going to take my uh, beauty sponge from Morphe and just tap that over my face to blend out any lines that that brush may have left behind. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for my hair as a mess. I just haven't opened a ponytail today because after I film this, me and my husband are going to go get groceries and go look at some cameras for me just to look and see how much they are and things like that. And then we're going to go to the gym, so no point in me fixing my hair all up and everything. We're gonna do that. But anyways, I'm using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. It's Maybelline um, Concealer. And then I use what's left of my Naked Skin Concealer over top just to brighten it up some. But this is in the, is in the shade of white. This is what I've been loving and been doing um, here lately because I thought I would like that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and when I reviewed it a while ago I did like it using my uh, Real Technique brush to blend it out. I liked it but as that day went on it just felt really heavy under my eyes and really drying. And so I do not care for it. I'm probably like the only one in the world who doesn't like it. But yeah, I don't like it. Just gonna blend this together. I like using a brush to blend out my concealer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Makeup Forever HD translucent powder and set my face using my powder brush by my brush set. And I also got this set of brushes right here. We're pretty cheap too. I think it was about 20, 20 something. All right, using the Hula Benefit um, bronzer. I'm going to use my Sunny Cash brush, this little brush. Dip it in there and put that on my cheeks. So dip it in there one time and just put. A tiny tiny bit right here in my temple and right here not really to contour that area just to kind of give it some color Go. taking my wet and wild 
contour palette, getting that highlight color right there. fix up that contour so like while that's sitting there I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my blush I'm gonna use the NARS um, Artigasm blush and I also use I mix that with the Benefit Rocketeer blush and that's what I've been doing lately also I just like those two mixed together it looks pretty I just like tap tap twice on each side that, tap it off and same thing in the rocket hair color. Alright, just gonna take this sun cash brush and get all that powder down there. Just take my sun cash flat brush and just blend everything together. Alright, next I'm going to jump into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I hit pan on my champagne pop one but I'm gonna go ahead and mix that and a little bit of that for second pop and put that right in the center of my cheeks and blend it. Same thing for the other side. A little bit on my chin. Keep it slow. Cheekbone, that C shape, on the eyebrows. Next, moving on to the eyebrows. I'm just going to use this brush, brush it out. I like this uh, sampling brush on this elf eyebrow brush just because it's denser, I guess. But I do not like the elf uh, I do not like the elf eyebrow pencil. But I do like this it it's cosmetics uh eyebrow pencil. I think it just works good. This was like a little sample size I received a long time ago. And I've just recently started using it. I do my eyebrows different than most of the YouTubers that I watch. I just seriously follow like uh, they look natural when I do it. Which there's nothing wrong with the way they do their eyebrows. I think it looks gorgeous on them. I'm just not very good at it and I like the way my natural eyebrows look. You know what I mean? But like I said, there's nothing wrong with the way they do it. It looks beautiful on them. I just it more natural, I guess. And after I do that, I brush the hair down to fill in any, any sparse areas at the top. Okay, so I'm going to use that e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Gel. I'm going to give you one of these, like, ASAP. Brush those little bushy things down. Now, moving on to the eyes. I'm using the Naked Over the K palette. Here. I'm using my Sonia Cash brush and I'm going to start off with Make It. And that, of course, is going to be our transition shade. I'm using my Point to Crease brush by Crown Brush. I'm going to go in with Buck. That in my crease. Taking a Smashbox brush, going back into Naked, and just making sure everything's blended nicely together. Alright, <clears throat> for the outer corner, I'm going to use dark horse right here. I'm using this elf uh well, I think eye brush.
brow bone. We're gonna take virgin right here. Put that on the brow bone. All right, now we're moving on to the lid. I'm out of the, the shade in this palette, but I went ahead and brought it right here. It's like one of my favorite shades. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm using the brush that come with the palette. And I'll go in with it dry first. Not on the lid. Just tap it on. Alright, using my next setting spray, spray in my brush. I'm gonna go back into it now. Get my wet and tap that on there. For the final touch on the lids, I'm using these Dilla uh, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow um, Eyeshadow. And what I do, I take it and I just take that same brush because I don't want all of that on there. I just dip the tip of it in there, just like that, and I just tap it around. So my wig can have a little bit of shimmer to it. You know what I mean? And just tap it and press it and kind of set my end base. But I'm going to use this brush to wipe away any fallout. That glitter has fallout too, but you can use tape or something to, you know, get it off. But I'm not gonna do all that. I'm using my next setting spray and I'm gonna set my whole face. And as that dries, I'm going to go ahead and use some mascara. I'm using the usual to put the sex mascara and my Maybelline mascara that I curl my lashes. off with the Maybelline mascara. And I look down as I do it to, to try to keep it from getting hung off with sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Meet Matt Hughes and the bomb the bomb right here. Little sample size. And the face, but anyways, this is the eyes. Yeah. And the face. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed my go-to look. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And if y'all will like, y'all can go ahead and follow me on my social medias, Instagram and Twitter at Kayla's Ways. Um, it's K-A-Y-L-A-S-W-A-Y-S. But yeah, and that will be in the description box below, as well as all the products I used today. But yeah, I hope y'all have a good day, good night, whatever you're on the and I'll talk to you later. Bye!